the impact fees, my position on impact fees, uh, and, and I've been vocal about this in committee meetings, is I don't see the state being involved in local issues, and I don't see the need for the state to be involved. I am a believer, and I, I, I don't know who this quote is from, but I, I know there was there's a quote out there that government should be close to the people. And the, the concept behind that is the closer government is, the lower the level of government is, the more in tune it is with the people it represents and the taxpayers there. If Gilbert or Queen Creek or Tempe wants to have higher impact fees or lower impact fees, I don't see any reason the state should be involved in that. Uh, as a builder, and I say I have a home a residential license and a commercial license, uh, I've had a variety of subcontractor licenses over the years, so I'm, I'm very familiar with the construction industry. When I was building, uh, probably four or five years ago is when I built my last house, Queen Creek at that time had very high impact fees, and I couldn't tell you what they were. I just didn't build in Queen Creek. I, I built other places that were more accommodating to, to what I was doing. Uh, I remember 15, 20 years ago, I was building multifamily housing. And I remember that Tempe uh, had a very involved process to get permits and, and to get approvals. And I couldn't tell you what they were. It's been too long ago. I just remember it was a, a tremendous amount of work. And I can remember standing in line down at the city myself many, many times and being frustrated waiting in line and, and getting tired of going through the bureaucracy. I didn't build in Tempe anymore. Uh, if a city wants to control its growth by raising impact fees, I don't see a problem with it. And I understand the argument that, well, the cities aren't using the impact fees for what they agreed to use them for. Uh, they said they were going to use them for parks or firehouses or whatever else. I see that as a different issue. If the city represented that they were collecting these fees for a specific purpose, then my feeling is they should be using them for that purpose. Uh, but I don't think the state should step in and say, some cities didn't use them for the anticipated purpose Therefore, you shouldn't have the right to regulate your own fees. Uh, I don't see that as a state function. Uh, if the federal government stepped in and said, hey, we're not gonna have impact fees across the country, I can't imagine people would say we'd tolerate that. And it's no different from the state to the county or from the state to the city. Uh, local government should be able to do its own business. If we, if we don't want the counties and cities and towns to have the authority to handle their own affairs, there's no point in having them. The state might as well just run everything. Uh, they exist for a reason. They exist to put government closer to the people for those issues. The state should be dealing with policy making, not with local fiscal policy within the towns. If, if the town of Gilbert or Queen Creek says we're not happy with the way our city council is managing our impact fees or any other fees for that matter, they come up for election just like state officials do. Uh, there isn't any reason for the state to essentially preempt decisions of the of the cities. And when I use the word preempt, I, I've, I, I've had people correct me that the uh, comparison of the federal government versus the state uh, is a whole different issue because the federal government gets its power from the states. And I don't disagree with that. Uh, I understand that the cities and towns and counties are a division of the state and the state doesn't get its power from the cities. The, essentially, the cities and towns are a division of the state. I understand the argument. If we're going to get into a constitutional argument, I fully understand it. Uh, I would still stand in the position that I think government should be as close to the people as it can be. It comes back to why townships were created. Townships were created for that purpose, to, to divide up uh, your, your government and to put government closer to the people. Uh, it, was, it was the intention from way back. Uh, it was never the intention that the state or the federal government was going to control local issues. Uh, I would support the uh, towns and counties to make their own decisions. Uh, I'm supportive of HOAs. If, if, if someone chooses to set up an HOA and chooses to live in it, uh, I'm not supportive of breaking up the HOAs or, or reducing their ability to manage their own affairs. Uh, I don't always agree with what they do. Um, I think in some cases they reach pretty far. Uh, at the same time, I'm not in favor of, of, of interfering again with local government. Uh, and the HOAs may be an extreme, and, uh, uh, but in general, I'm, I'm not in favor of regulating the, the fees, to answer your question.